Greetings, St. Anselm students. We are going to show you how to register for classes using the My Anselm portal. Before logging in, please visit the orientation website and consult the new student guide, as you will need this to assist you with what courses you will need to register for. It is also very important that you do not use the back button in your web browser at any time. If you do, you'll be forced to log back in and you'll lose everything that you have worked on thus far. You will start by typing in myanselm.anselm.edu into your browser, and once you're there, log in with your email address and password, then press the login button. Next, click on Students. From here, you will be able to register for classes, see your class schedule, view your grades, unofficial transcript, and your degree audit, among other things. On the left-hand side of the page, you will see Registration and Course Schedules. Click on this. You have all summer to get your schedule completed. This navigation video is simply to show you the tools on how to physically do it. All incoming students will already be registered for at least one course in their major. The course or courses that you are already registered for have been chosen for a reason. Please speak with Dean Fernandez or the Registrar's Office if you wish to change this course or your major. Please do not try to drop the course or change it yourself. As you scroll down the page, you will see the student schedule box. It is important to note the days and times of the class or classes listed here before starting to register for your other classes, so that you don't try to register for additional classes on the same day and time. This class, for example, meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All students should register for a total of four classes plus any additional labs to stay on track to graduate in four years. Note, if you have taken an advanced placement exam and received a score of a four or a five, or if you have any college level coursework that you want to transfer in, you must have your official transcripts sent to the registrar's office as soon as possible. You should not register for the same course that you plan to transfer in credits for. Any questions can be addressed by contacting Tracy Morgan, the college registrar. Depending on your intended major, you will need to register for an additional one to three classes to complete your schedule. All students must register for Conversatio. Students must register for a seminar, HU-103, and a lecture, HL-103. First, you will search for the seminar HU-103. At the top of the Registration and Course Schedules screen, you will see the Course Schedules box. Click on Course Search to get started. First, you will want to make sure that you choose the term FA-2020, which is the Fall 2020 term. Then you will type in HU in the Course Code section. It is important to remember that less is more when searching for a course. If you enter too much information, the system may not be able to find the courses that meet the criteria that you entered. Do not type in the course number for this course. Leave everything else as is and click on search at the bottom of the page. You will notice that there are many sections of the HU-103 available. The word section refers to the letters that are listed after the course number, example AA, AB, AC. Before you choose which section you would like to register for, you need to look for a few things. Are there any seats open? Open means that there are open seats available. Closed means that the section is full. And also, what days and times does the section meet? This one, for example, meets on Wednesdays and Fridays from 8.30 a.m. until 9.20 a.m. If you are enrolled in the Honors Program, you must register for the HU-103 section that begins with H. Once you have chosen a section that works with your schedule, click in the box in the Add column next to the section you choose and then scroll to the bottom of that page. Press Add Courses and please only register for one section or course at a time. Once you do this, you will be redirected back to the Registration and Course Schedules page and you will see a message that indicates if your registration was successful or not. You will also see the section added to your schedule at the bottom of the page. Once you know that you have successfully registered for the section, you can now move on to your next course. Next, you will register for your Conversatio Lecture HL-103. You will change your course code from HU to HL and click Search. You will notice that there are only six sections of HL-103 available. You should also notice that there are over 100 seats available in these sections. Lectures are large classes, so fewer sections are offered. It is very important to match up your first seminar section letter with your lecture section letter. Here's how you do it. 
If you registered for HU-103DE, you would register for HL-103D. If you are an honors student, you will use the second letter of your HU-103 section for your lecture. Example, if you registered for HU-103HA, you would register for HL-103A. Once you find your lecture section, click in the box in the Add column next to the section and then scroll to the bottom of the page and press Add Courses. Just like before, you'll be redirected back to the Registration and Courses Schedule page and you will see a message that indicates if your registration was successful or not and that it was added to your schedule. For the next course, you'll need to use your new student guide located on the orientation webpage. This contains a course sequence by major to show you what to register for next. Most majors will need to register for a modern or classical language. You will need to register for both a seminar and native speaker in the first semester. If your department recommends taking a language, you will use the department pull-down and search for your language. To know what level to take, example Spanish 2, you should have already taken the language placement. If you did, you should have already received an email with the results and the recommended level. Go ahead and register for your seminar. Once you have added the seminar, you will need to register for the native speaker that is associated with that course. Native speaker sections will start with the letters NS and will end with the last two letters of the language, example CN for Chinese. Unlike Conversatio, your language native speaker section does not need to match the seminar letter. You can choose any native speaker lecture section that you would like, as long as it is for the same level. Example, Chinese 1 would be native speaker Chinese 1. Once you have registered for your language course, you will need to register for your fourth course. This will be something that you are interested in, either a core course, an elective, double major, or a minor. Please refer to your new student guide to choose this class. Once you are done registering for all of your courses, make sure to review your final schedule. Thank you for taking the time to watch this guide. If you have any questions, please refer to the new student guide or reach out to the registrar's office anytime. We can't wait to see you on the hilltop.